law. Does the, does the, the, does the taxpayer have first dibs on the $535 million the time of the when the first dollar comes in from Solyndra, if one even does? At the time of the original does, loan? That's a yes or no question. Right now, after... Yes or no, Mr. Secretary. Can, does the taxpayer have first dibs, or is some other company going to get first dibs on the first dollar that comes in, or the first $75 million? After restructuring? Yes or no, the no. American taxpayer? After no. restructuring. What was your answer? After restructuring, no. No. Okay, so you did that. Now let's go back to your legal counsel. Your legal counsel did look at this. Not only did your legal counsel look at this and their determination, and, and I'll go to page 5 of the legal opinion, that's tab 67, their legal opinion says this reading of the provision is reinforced by the use of the word is. So here we go again with, it's going to come down to the definition of the word is, if that's really how you're going to hang your hat. But let's go beyond your department's attorneys. We've got an email, and we discussed this in a previous hearing in our committee. Uh, I would hope you've seen this. Uh, Gary Berner over at uh, the Treasury said, uh, the statute rests with the Department of Justice, the authority to accept the compromise of a claim to the U.S. government in those instances. They had recommended that you all go to the Department of Justice. Did you do that? We did not.